Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. Season finale, people. This is it. We've watched it. We've seen it happen. And now we know how it ended. In the Marshes. The Liar. Season one, episode six. This episode is cut. The Marshes. We now know exactly what he used. A small vial, almost similar to those little testers that you get at the, like Nordstrom's or Macy's, you know, to test the perfume and see how it smells on you. Do you like it? So he almost had another victim. She was too slow with the syringe sample and it was a good plan, but sloppy execution. Ay, ay, ay. Andrew's crazy. The man was so crazy. He, he's a nutty psycho rapist father surgeon that used his son in the beginning of this finale episode. I couldn't believe it because it, he was pulling it on his son like, scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. It was the biggest guilt trip that he laid upon his son. Crying, it was just messy. I couldn't believe it. Using your own son as your alibi, shady man. One point I had to say to myself, are they in a small town to where the pickings are just so slim? To where your sibling is dating your boyfriend on some on some sneak stuff and your date son is your student? You know, this alleged rapist is just all over the place, man. He, he's also the, the sister's co-worker. What? The issue in this episode was he was about to strike again. There was this unsuspecting blonde who was walking into God knows what. I was just shocked that she wasn't familiar with this whole social media fiasco that happened, this, his whole background. And it was nuts because he has a type. She looked like Laura Nelson. That phone call, that phone call that occurred was shocking. He made that phone call outside of her bedroom window just to make her feel weak. Straight stalker mode. I play that back, Laura, whenever I get a chance. I caught it, and she caught it too. Laura found Mia. She found Mia. And I said, as soon as they introduced us to his mother or aunt, whoever that lady was, I said, dang, uh, they're going to have to get into that shed. Somehow, they're going to have to get it back to her. And they quickly made the scene cut to her. Um, it was a big move. How she did it, I don't know. But this chick, it will, she is, it, it could be called liar, it could be called stalker, this series. But she lies her way into the shed and she finds the vial. She finds the SD cards, multiple vials, multiple cards. It was nuts. I'm like, Maya, you just, Mia, you just letting in strangers? You just letting them all come in? Even though she did try to make that call, but it was too late at that point. When, when Laura stopped in traffic to go over what she had collected, I'm saying to myself, she should have beeline to the police. Beeline to the police because I felt he was going to T-bone her car and it was just going to be bad and both of them would die. That's how I thought it was going to go. So they issued a warrant and Andrew took off. He ran, he disappeared. But but we all know this entire season, they sh they're showing us the water, the kayak, the marshes in the ground the the marshes we know she knows her way around there she knows every in and out and she's capable she's capable of hurting someone bringing him out there getting rid of him and no one would know the throat was slit his andrew's throat was slit he was dead in the marshes wow it's been almost a month three weeks trying to locate this guy and it was just sad because he's done so much damage and so much hurt and this the only ones we knew of in this series was a couple of them but this fool had, i'm sure he had a lot of people it was a good little series i enjoyed it aired in the uk first and then they brought it over here to play on sundance tv like I, at first, initially I was Team Andrew. I believed him. I did not believe Lord. She just seemed all over the place, and her she she just didn't seem very responsible. But everyone on this show was a liar. At the end of the day, her sister, uh, Tom, Andrew, Laura, even her, even Luke, the son, lied about miscarriage with his young girlfriend, and the girlfriend was lying to her father. So it's just a continuous messed up cycle. Good for TV though, very good for TV. Very interesting. He died. I did not see him dying. I figured, it would, I thought they were, would hurt each other, Laura and Andrew. He played a very sinister man um, in this series. I liked it. Y'all let me know what you think. It was a quick one, you know. It was a quick little series. I'm not gonna keep y'all too long talking about it. It was a shocker. I mean, it was a shocker. I love the way they showed a lot of the scenes. I've said it in other reviews for this show. 
I love it. I, I've said it before. I love it when someone's exiting a scene, uh, someone is entering. I love the outside shots. I love how the camera's always, you know, moving with them. Whenever we're at his house, we see that Vino poster in the background because wine could have definitely been a character this season, a scary, freaky character. Um, her sister, Katie, with her cheating, nasty, trifling self, you know, her relationship, it's known, it's known that she cheated on her husband and, you know, he's still there for his kids at the end of the day and she has to live with that. Everyone's come to grips with what it is. It's, I really, really felt bad for the detective and her spouse because, dang, that's a lot to live with, you know. That is a lot to live with with someone growing inside of her. My goodness. Um, what do you guys think about this episode? What do you think about this whole series? Would you recommend it for a friend? Did you enjoy it? Do you think it was whack? Do you like the way it ended? Let me know. Anyways, I, like I said, I'm not going to keep you all long because it, it was a quick show. Until the next time, peace.